Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Um, 79 days down. Um, I can't believe it's been 75 days. That's crazy to me. So yeah, let's chat for a little bit. Anybody um, that we have not met or has not met me, I'm Cheryl. This is my channel and we are on an adventure or right now a roller coaster um, of weight loss. I am currently taking five milligrams, five milligrams look like this, of Zepbound, which is um, terzepatide. It is a GL1P medication. Yeah, this is a shot that everybody's talking about. This is the shot that the country's talking about. Um, this is the shot that people are turning their nose up to people about. And um, to them, I say, shame on you. So if you are new here and you are considering a GLP-1, you have begun a GLP-1, you have questions about a GLP-1, you're unsure or uncertain, um, you know, what you want to do, stick around and um, hang out with us because um, we have a lot of great, very candid conversations about, um, about these medications. So yeah, like I said, I'm currently taking Zepbound, which is the trizepatide. So Zepbound and Manjaro are the same medication. Manjaro is FDA approved for type 2 diabetes. Zepbound is approved for FDA approved for obesity. And then you have the same thing with Ozempic and Wygovi, which is a semaglutide. Uh, this is terzepatide. Semaglutide being Wygovi, which is for weight loss, and Ozempic, which is for type 2 diabetes. And then there's a few others scattered in there, um, Sexenda, Trulicity, and a few a few different medications. Um, I am extremely, extremely curious. I have a doctor's appointment, not until July, but I'll have blood work taken in July. So I'm very curious to see, as many of you know, um, I also am diagnosed with CKD. And there are studies that have been done one that was done, I was actually reading about it the other day, and I don't have the documents in front of me, but you could look it up. Um, a study was done about chronic kidney disease, and the study actually ended early because the um, the facts were found to be valid. And another study that is still currently going on, I believe that involves ZepBound specifically, um, and the effects on chronic kidney disease and how, how it's... Um, slowing the progress. So that's all I can hope for at this point is that the progress just stops basically, slows, stops, stalls, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have stage four chronic kidney disease and um, these medications are, are showing in studies that it, it stalls the progress. So if I can stay at a stage four for the rest of my life, then everything will be great. If I continue to progress, we get to stage five, then we get to kidney failure that's when things become a problem. Um, so I can't wait to have blood work. How bizarre does that sound? But I've seen so many people talking about their um, A1Cs and all of their other labs and how different their lab work is um, from before the medication and then when they're on the medication. So I'm very interested to see, um, because all of these studies are not yet completed, so the medications are not yet marketed and approved for chronic kidney disease, but there's definitely been data shown already um, that it, it helps the progression. So I can't wait to see what my numbers are um, to see if it is in fact doing what we're hoping it will do. So that's just that. Um, so as you see, I'm in a little better spirits. Um, than I was a few days ago, partly in thanks to um, my beautiful friend um, made me some soup today. So I had some soup at work. Um, guys, it was rough. I am not going to lie. Um, know what you can and cannot eat on this medication and um, just be very careful. So, well, let's just kind of start from the beginning a little bit in case um, there's any anybody, any friends who are new here. Um, when you begin a GL1, a GL, 
a GLP-1, sorry, medication. Um, you know, some doctors just kind of let you go and mine's, mine's pretty much let me go. And I do a lot of things on my own, which I'm kind of grateful for. I'd rather, I, I don't like checking in with doctors. I don't like all the things, right? Um, other people have a whole team. Other people are meeting with nutritionists or dietitians and um, weight management um, facilities and all of these things. And then they're also online and they're in support groups. And, you know, there's that's a lot of people involved. So I like to kind of do my own thing. <laughs> I'm a little independent like that. Um, I'm sure my husband would agree that um, I don't like help from people. I like to do things on my own. And that's kind of the approach I've taken thus far. Um, but one thing that you do need to know, and it might be a little trial and error in the beginning, is what you can and can't eat. Or maybe take some of the stories from other people and know that I can't imagine that there's anybody on these medications that's going to say, yeah, I can eat all the fried foods I want and I'm perfectly fine. I haven't heard that. Um, fried foods, high fat content are really, really troublesome. Um, alcohol is troublesome. And I kind of hit the trifecta last weekend, as you may have seen in my previous video, where I was just absolutely miserable. I think that was Monday night. So Sunday I ate um, Mother's Day. I had a cocktail. I had some fried calamari. I had some french fries. I had a little bit of a lobster roll. So there was some cobs. I ate very little of the roll. Um, Monday I had a work meeting. The representative brought pizza. I had a slice of pepperoni pizza. That combined with the day before when I already really wasn't feeling good. Monday, I was very sluggish. By yesterday morning, Tuesday, I was sick. I mean, I was miserable. I have not been this sick in the 78 days. Today's day 79. The 78 days leading up to that, I have not been that sick. Um, I was uncomfortable a couple of times. I took some antacids. Within a couple of hours, I was okay. I was sick. I woke up yesterday morning and I had slept okay during the night. I was exhausted. I slept okay. I woke up, I took a shower. I got out of the shower and I was sick and I started to throw up. Sorry guys, my son was calling. Um, he had his doctor's appointment. So anybody who doesn't know, my son had a car accident a few weeks ago. He broke his radius. Um, messed up some ligaments, he had surgery, got everything put back together. So he was just calling me, um, had his doctor's appointment. He's in a cast now um, and everything's looking good. But anyway, so I got really sick yesterday and I was just miserable. And I pushed through, I, I threw up, I did all the things my stomach hurt. I was nauseous. I was uncomfortable, like just all the things. And I, I really, really paid for it. I went to work. I powered through. Um, we're still doing our standardized state testing. I had a student. So, um, you know, I still, I still went to work. I was just miserable. I ate a little Sargento snack pack for lunch yesterday. And around 9.30, I was able to get a um, a granola bot in. So I had, I did eat something, but I was just, I was miserable. Last night, by 7.30, I was junk. And I said to my husband, I'm going to bed. And I went upstairs, I laid down. And I was like watching TikToks or whatever for about an hour. And then I tried to go to sleep. And of course I couldn't. Like I could have fallen asleep on the couch. But once I went upstairs and I was up until like 11. But I was asleep by 11.30. So I slept last night. I'm still a little... You know if you've been sick for a few days, your stomach kind of aches and hurts. So I kind of feel like that's just where we are right now. I'm not as nauseous per se. My stomach's just like, it hurts a little bit, which is a little strange. Um, but I definitely feel better. I don't feel great, but I feel better. 
So, um, you know, if you are new and you're just beginning this medication or any of these medications, the side effects include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, lightheadedness, dizziness, all the things, and they are possible. But I do feel like it's not due to the medication itself. It's due to what you're putting in your body. So if you're having alcohol, I can pretty much guarantee you're going to get sick. Now think, the medication is designed to make you feel full longer. The food that you eat or whatever you consume actually sits in your stomach before it's processed and broken down, you know, to get out of your body. Um, so it sits there longer. So if you're drinking alcohol, it's just sitting. So if now all the alcohol is just sitting, you know, right here in your stomach in that one spot, there's no room for anything else. And the alcohol is just kind of sitting in there and stirring in there. And let me tell you, I felt it instantly. It's like it just wasn't going anywhere. And I I knew as soon as I started to drink it, and then I just, I felt bad. Like I didn't want to waste food. I didn't want to not, I didn't finish it, but um, I shouldn't have ordered it. And that was on me. And I have said this in the past. So I actually have a video about this somewhere. Um, 58 days until my vacation. And the more I think about it and the more I look forward to my vacation, because it's been a rough couple of weeks at work, um, the more I think I'm going to stop the shot for my vacation. And I'm not like a huge drinker, but I want to be able to go on vacation and enjoy myself. Like one day we have um, bingo on the beach and I always bring jello shots and I always bring um, apple pie moonshine is something that I make. A dear friend of mine gave me a recipe that her mother had given her and I make this the last several years that we go and everyone looks forward to it. And we have just, we have a blast. Like nobody's driving, nobody's going anywhere. It's all just clean fun. And these are the things we look forward to. And these are like part of our routine while we're away. Um, and I'm looking forward to those things. So I'm thinking I'm gonna stop the shot because I want to be able to, in moderation, enjoy myself. And I think, you know, if I do one of the things, I'm just gonna be miserable. Um, so yeah, if you are considering taking this medication, if you've just started this medication, if you're going to be starting this medication, if you're looking into it, um, you have to be cognizant of the food and the things that you are consuming because fried foods, high fat, sometimes over carbs, um, alcohol, all of these things are going to make you sick. I can almost guarantee it. I can guarantee that the alcohol is not going to have a great effect on your body. Um, I've even spoken to some people who have said, like, did the alcohol make you sick? And I, absolutely, you can't drink alcohol while you're taking this. And they're like, then I won't take it. Some people, you know, want to drink that much. And, and like, I get it. People go out on the weekends. People do things. It It's hard. But this is something that I am committed to. So, um it's more like, it's just like a lapse in, it's not even a lapse in judgment. It's more like a lapse in like brain map. Like I just, I, I forget we go out to dinner. My husband orders a beer. I order a rum cocktail. It's just a habit. Um, and I just have to remind myself like water would be better. <laughs> um, because it's not like I need the alcohol. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that, you know, everybody, everybody knows that you need to be careful so yeah, 79 days in, um, we are officially 25 pounds down. So I know I told you guys the other day, like I was fighting that one pound back and forth. So it's officially gone. So in the past week-ish, we'll say um, 1.4 is um, is where we're at. And I'm, I'm going to have to be honest with you guys. I think I'm going to have to stop with the week review because I'm kind of losing track. Um, I know in the beginning I was kind of, I was checking in on the same day, that kind of like Wednesday-ish. I was able to give you from week to week with the exact amount that I've been losing, um, but we're probably gonna have to go with like a, a whole tally at this point because I'm kind of losing track. Because we've switched shot days and then filming days, 
Um, so my shot day was Saturday. It is now Wednesday that I'm giving you this video. So I think I gave you a video on Sunday, which would have been accurate that we weren't hadn't really lost anything. So now we're um, Wednesday, we're officially at a pound and a half for the past week-ish. So that gives us 79 days taking medication. So we did two months of 2.5 and three shots of five milligrams. So 79 days, 25 pounds. Um, that's like two pounds a week. Now, granted that first week, week and a half, there was like four or five pounds and that hasn't happened again. But still, if you do the math, it still comes out to about two pounds a week. So I will take that because as we all know, you really don't want to be losing too much more than that per week um, for long-term results, right? Um, if, you know, we're losing five pounds a week, the chances of that five pounds or that 40 pounds coming back are going to be, are going to be a, a much greater chance. So we're definitely trying to, to avoid that. So I am very grateful for the 25 pounds. Trust me. I, I know sometimes I, I sound a little frustrated and, you know, I think we all get there. We're all frustrated. We all want instant results, but that's the world that we live in, right? Um, I say this at school with the kids all the time. They're just so used to instant gratification that it's just kind of the way of the world now. And, you know, we, we all want that quicker result, but I do know in the long run, it will be better to have the slow and steady. That being said, I still would love to, I have 58 days till vacation. I would love another 20, but I know that that sounds a little, a little hard. I'm going to aim for 15. Um, I'm working on, I think I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to talk to my husband when he gets home. I think I'm going to order a um, a stationary bike for the house because I know I have to start exercising, but I've been having a really hard time with my knees. The one knee is just not quite healed yet from the ACL. And because of that and because so on my left side, I had ACL surgery last August. On my right side, I had ankle reconstruction the December before that. So because of that the other parts of the body so my left hip and my right knee have been taken a real beating because of it so walking which is the easiest thing to do can be difficult it it can be painful so when I was in physical therapy I was able to do like five minutes at a time on the bike and the bike takes a lot less of the um the strain of the knees off so I've been looking on Marketplace, trying to see if anybody had, you know, one available. A teacher that I work with offered me one to borrow. Um, but I think I found one online for like $140 on Amazon. And at that point, it would probably just be easier to order it, have it shipped right here and put together than having my husband have to go to like a city um and probably get it from like a second or third floor, just judging from like where this the person that had one that I found that was like a little bit cheaper, but it would probably be easier in the long run. So I'm thinking, so I'm really hoping in the next week to be adding, even if I can do five minutes a day, I'd be happy at this point. And it's not even for the exercise portion of it. It's um, my joints are killing me. So we're going to be, we're going to be working on that. And I will let you guys know, you know, how, how we go, you know, what, what transpires from there. So that's my goal. I'm going to go with 15 for my vacation is July 13th. I don't know. I have to figure out like when I'm going to stop the shot. Cause I don't see my doctor until after I come back from vacation. Um, but I think I'm definitely going to stop the shot for that week that I'm away and just, I'll be able to do more exercises and stuff. I'll be able to swim every day, which swimming, you know, as everybody knows, for gravity and stuff like that is really good for, you know, the joints and stuff like that. We're still working on getting our pool back up. It's not looking too great for this season. There's just a lot happening with that. So um, I'll definitely be able to swim on vacation. So I'm excited about that. Um, and I'm grateful for the, for the, you know, 
for the 25 pounds, I mean, that's probably the most I think I've ever lost at one given point. I have never been very successful and I have never stuck to anything for 79 days. Um, anything weight loss, <laughs> you know, anything to do with diet and nutrition and health and stuff like that. 79 days for me, this is huge. Two and a half months going on three months. This is kind of a big one for me. So I am very, very grateful for the 25 pounds. I definitely feel better. Um, I'm definitely starting to see to see things. And I'm extremely grateful um, for as even as cranky and whiny as I might sound in the last few videos with how lousy these past few days have been. I am very grateful for the minimal amount of side effects that I have had up until this point. And again, I blame myself 100%. I blame myself. I made bad decisions, but we live and learn, right? And if there's nothing else that comes from this other than me, you know, learning what what was good and what was bad and what we know now is a no-no, I hope that I can pass it on to at least one of you that will go out at some point in the next month and go to order a cocktail and say, nope, that loud chick from YouTube um, got really sick. I'll have a water with lemon. I'll have a Diet Coke, um, whatever the case may be. Um, if I can help one person, I am, I'm happy with that. And I'm grateful that um, I have this platform in order, you know, to, to, to do it. Because let me tell you guys, it was no joke. And I, I was miserable. So um, yeah, um, one thing I wanted to talk about, and I mentioned in the very beginning is um, the perception of these medications. So one thing that I want you to know, if you are new, if you are um, just considering the medication, if you've just begun the medication, if you're having a conversation with your doctor about the medication, I don't want you to be deterred in any way. I was for a very long time, a very long time. Um, but I had someone say to me the other day, um, you know, what are you doing or whatever? And I, and I was honest, I've been forthright with anybody who has asked. And the response was, oh, you're cheating. And I was like, I was like kind of insulted. And I was like, well, I'm not. And like, I also have under, like, you don't know my medical history. Like my doctor prescribed me these medications. Well, we tried other medications that weren't approved, um, but specifically for the CKD. So I was just like, wow, people don't, you, you don't, nobody knows everybody's story. Nobody knows what other people are going through and people are so quick to judge. And um, to those people, I say, shame on you. And to anybody who's considering this, but afraid of the stigma, to hell with them. Don't, don't let other people control your destiny, please. Um, I have been forthcoming with people when they've asked because let me tell you, there's people I work with who I promise you have done the exact same thing that I'm doing and are lying about it. And I won't be that person. I would rather help one person by being honest and having somebody else say, you know what, she did it. And she's like, she looks good and she's losing weight and she's being open about it. And I would rather help one other person by being by being honest than by just if if this is something that you're thinking about, please ignore the negativity. Please ignore the people that um, you know, everybody has something to say. Everybody has an opinion. And I am sure that everybody knows what everybody says about people with opinions, you know? So just please Think of yourself and your own health first and not not what other people are because nobody knows what you're enduring. And to that same regard, nobody knows what we've gone through. Do you know, do you, people assume that it, we're overweight because you're sitting in a room stuffing your face and that's just not always the case. There's so many underlying um, attributes to, to everybody's life. So to everybody else, I say shame on you. And if you're considering it, please do it, go for it. Um, just be prepared for the shortages and get your ducks in a row first. Um, so with that, I think that's going to kind of wrap up our recap for the week. Um, you all know 
as I keep saying, please, 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 if you um, are a regular viewer and you are not yet subscribed, I invite you and please, please, please ask you kindly to go and hit that subscribe button. We are, um, we are very close. So I'm really hoping to hit that goal by the end of this month as well and get to 1,000 subscribers. Um, I did go through my subscriber list today and um, I will tell you, not one member of my own family is subscribed to my channel. So you guys are my family. You guys are my friends. Um, but I don't have others, um, which I'm not surprised by, but I was like, okay. Um, so I am curious though, um, to all of my, what, and you know what guys, on my last video where I was just so miserable and it was just so awful, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the, um, all of the comments. I, I read, I try to read all of the comments. It's a little tricky when you're in on your phone and you're trying to do this thing, but I do try really hard to read and answer and comment back to everybody. If for some reason I have missed you, I apologize. It is a little bit tricky and I'm trying to, um, to get a hang of it. Um, but thank you all so much for, for the, for the awesome comments and the encouragement and the tips. Um, so what I would like you all to do now is comment down below. What do you want to see from this channel? I'm open to suggestions. Do you like just the weekly recaps? Are you only really coming for the weight loss? Do you just want to know how much? Cause I can just put that on the screen each and every time. Is that really all that you want? Um, are you looking for more vlog type, like lifestyle, you know, things? Tell me what you're looking for. I'm I'm happy to oblige, um, but I would love some some feedback from some of you guys. So yeah, I think that's going to wrap up today. I am going to go make some grilled chicken and some zucchini and um, get dinner going. But yeah, please go subscribe below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Um, if you think it could be of benefit or help to anyone else, I would love it if you could go ahead and share it and keep those comments coming, guys. Until next time, we'll see ya.